Hi. Today we are going to discuss about nanomaterials and its classifications. First, let us see what is meant by nanomaterials. The materials with at least one dimension within the nanoscale range, which is 1 to 100 nanometers, exhibiting unique properties due to their small size and high surface area to volume ratio is called nanomaterials. Now let's see the classification of nanomaterials. There are uh, two approaches to classify nanomaterials. One is dimensions and the other is materials. So the first one based on dimensions, there are four classifications based on dimensions. Zero dimensional nanomaterials such as nanoparticles and quantum dots which have all three dimensions confined within the nanoscale. Then one dimensional nanomaterials like uh, nano wires, nano roads and nano tubes which have one extended dimension. And next is two dimensional nanomaterials including graphene and nano sheets which have two nanoscale dimensions. And uh, finally, three dimensional nanomaterials such as uh, aerogels and nanostructured forms which have internal nanoscale features. So, we have seen the four classifications like zero dimensional, 0D, 1D, 2D, and 3D based on dimensions. Additionally, nanomaterials can be classified based on their composition. These are carbon based, metal based, ceramic based, and polymeric nanomaterials. First one is carbon based nanomaterials. This includes fullerenes, carbon nanotubes and graphene which are known for their exceptional mechanical strength, electrical conductivity and chemical stability. Now metal based nanomaterials are like gold and silver nanoparticles are recognized for their unique optical, electronic and catalytic properties. Now the third one ceramic based nanomaterials such as silica and titanium dioxide nanoparticles. These are valued for their high hardness, thermal stability and chemical resistance. Now finally polymeric nanomaterials like dendrimers and polymer nanofibers are utilized for their tunable mechanical, thermal and chemical properties. Hi, we are going to discuss about the synthesis methods in this video. The synthesis of nanomaterials is a critical process in nanotechnology allowing for the creation and assembly of materials at the nanoscale. Basically, we can say that it uh, refers to the process of creating and assembling materials at the nanoscale which is 1 to 100 nanometers. Here, we will be discussing two methods. One is sol gel method and the other is chemical reduction. The sol gel method is a chemical process where a colloidal solution, we can say it as sol, transitions into a solid network, we can say it as gel. That is what sol gel means. This involves hydrolysis and uh, polycondensation of metal alkoxides to form a three-dimensional network which is then aged, dried and calcined to create porous solids uh, which are used in ceramics, thin films and nanocomposites. Coming to the second method which is chemical reduction, it is another synthesis method where uh, metal ions are reduced in a solution to form metallic nanoparticles. And the process involves uh, nucleation, growth and stabilization using reducing agents and surfactants leading to applications in catalysis, antimicrobial agents and sensors. These synthesis methods are broadly categorized into top-down approaches which break down bulk materials to nanoscale dimensions and bottom-up approaches which build nanomaterials from atomic or molecular precursors. The choice of synthesis uh, method significantly influences the materials properties and uh, suitability for various applications. Hi, let's discuss about carbon nanotubes or CNDs. These are cylindrical carbon structures that can be either single walled or multi walled. SWCNT and MWCNT are the acronyms for single-walled and multi-walled CNTs respectively. 
single thread cnt is consist of a single graphene sheet rolled into a cylinder while multi walled uh, cnt is comprise multiple concentric graphene cylinders cnt's are renowned for their remarkable mechanical strength with a tensile strength up to 100 times of steel they also exhibit excellent electrical conductivity with applications in nano electronics and high thermal conductivity making them suitable for heat dissipation in electronics cnt's are chemically stable and resistant to corrosion enhancing their durability in various applications these properties make cnt's valuable in reinforcing materials energy storage nano electronics and drug delivery where their unique structure and properties can be exploited for specific function hi let's discuss about fullerenes now we'll be seeing the structure uh, and applications so basically fullerenes are a class of carbon based nanomaterials composed entirely of carbon atoms arranged in a hollow sphere ellipsoid or tubular shape the most Common fueler in C60 has 60 carbon atoms arranged in a structure resembling a soccer ball. And uh, fuelerines are known for their electrochemical properties as they can accept and donate electrons, making them useful in organic photovoltaics and batteries. They also exhibit good thermal conductivity, beneficial for thermal management in electronics and uh, chemical reactivity allowing for the formation of various chemical derivatives. Fullerenes have diverse applications including uh, in uh, photovoltaics where they improve light absorption and charge separation and in drug delivery where they can target specific cells or tissues and another application is lubricants that uh, reduce friction in um, mechanical systems and uh, superconductors where certain fullerene derivatives exhibit superconductivity at low temperature hi now we are going to discuss about graphene we'll be seeing its structure and applications so graphene is a single layer of uh, carbon atoms arranged in a two-dimensional honeycomb lattice each carbon atom in graphene is bonded to three others in a hexagonal pattern giving it exceptional properties graphene is one of the strongest materials known with a tensile strength of over 130 gpa or 130 uh, gigapascals it exhibits high electron mobility making it an excellent conductor of electricity and has excellent exceptional thermal conductivity useful for thermal management graphene is also nearly transparent absorbing only 2.3 percentage of visible light making it suitable for transparent conductive films these properties make graphene highly valuable in various applications including flexible and transparent electronics energy storage devices like batteries and supercapacitors composites that uh, enhance mechanical and thermal properties and sensors for detecting gases and chemicals in environmental monitoring and uh, healthcare. I hope you got an idea about nanomaterials. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to like and uh, please feel uh, free to comment if you have any doubts. Also, don't forget to subscribe the channel. See you in the next video. Bye for now.